Hello everybody. First let me show you this. Look sitting right over there. They waiting to see what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Alright. Today I'm gonna tell you about TV antenna towers. The broadcast towers. I done a video two or three weeks ago and a man uh asked me a question. And I thought about it, and I actually took some notes about it, so, because I knew I probably needed to make a video about it. But basically, what he's saying is he made uh, a clothes hanger TV antenna, and uh, a clothes hanger TV antenna will, will pick up good, but I don't think it'll hold up outside because of it rusting. You know, that's like... Uh, I had somebody say one time, man, is it odd if I spray paint my antenna? <laughs> I, you know, I don't know if they was messing with me or they were serious. I don't know, why would you want to spray your antenna? Okay, but here's the deal. Let's say this is the TV antenna right here that he's got. And he's got a, a TV tower, you know, and this is a, he said uh, northeast and southwest. It's on the comments if you ever want to take a look at it. But what he's basically saying is his antenna's in the middle of the two TV towers. And he says he can pick up this tower good, but he can't pick up this TV tower good. I said, well, uh, do you have a reflector on it? And, you know, I asked him to question that on the comments. He said he didn't have no reflector. But he said he don't understand why he can't pick up this station as good as he can this station and with no reflector. And I will say this right here. They, they could be some kind of a difference in between, you know, this way and this way. They could be some kind of a terrain different but probably more than likely what it is and I told him to check this is kilowatts now uh yeah them tv towers has got kilowatts that push that power it ain't just up there on a tower and uh it's okay I'm ready they got kilowatts that push that power. And by the way, y'all, y'all keep out a, a look for that. I told you I was going to show you how to make YouTube videos without a camera and show you how to do it and what to do and how to instantly get into business. Now, in Macon, you know, where I live at, let's just say this is Dublin where I live, and the TV towers, they sort of like this. They sort of like this. Okay. Uh, and I don't know for sure about this, but it always seemed like to me that, uh, in other words, I can point it this way and pick up a channel better, and I can point it this way and pick up another channel a little better. So I don't know if they on the, I don't think they're on the same tower. They might be, they might not, I don't know. If any of you out there know, let me know. But anyway, there's one channel that's got, in making, that's got one million kilowatts. And then there's another channel that's got 400,000. And that 400,000 is uh, kilowatts. Is what, is what, if you can get that in Dublin, and everybody can't. Most people do, but everybody can't. You know, it's, that's all according to uh, where you're at and, uh, and trees and power lines. At the power lines is, is worse than trees. And also, this is something I wanted to tell y'all. I put it on a video, and I don't know how it didn't make it on there, but uh, I overlooked it somehow. If, if you're in a place where a cellular phone don't work good, 
a, a TV uh, antenna. I ain't saying it won't work. It just won't work good neither. You catch hell trying to get a signal uh, in a place that a cellular phone don't pick up good. Y'all had to stop and go look at the footage. This videos like this is hard to make because there's so many rabbit holes to go down. I'm going to get back to that other, to the man's question, but I just want to throw this in. You know, we got a TV station in Dublin. Let me show you something important. The TV station in Dublin, let's just say it's right here. And uh, I kind of live like this, you know, according to the TV towers. This station right here in Dublin has only 30,000 watts. And uh, it's not a major channel, you know. It's just kind of a local channel. I watched that old Connie Trading Post on there <laughs> where you call in and buy stuff. But if this station right here, if they were to ever add more power to their broadcast towers it would knock every TV in Dublin out of being able to pick up this make you can't have a booster too close to a TV tower and and I put some up before that I knew was lined exactly up with it and uh it worked but it, it was giving a little trouble and it's just because you you need this booster you need this uh to to pick up this 400,000 kilowatts you need that booster you don't need it for this the million kilowatts uh, I'm not sure if I said it but I can pick up the million kilowatts better than I can the the 30,000 kilowatts from four miles away so the moral to that story is is not all TV stations is created equal and you can look up the you can look up the kilowatts uh, on the computer you and find out how many kilowatts each station's got that's how I know and y'all the reason I know all this it ain't because nobody told me because the people that do know they won't tell like I do I know this from experience, from just from me doing it. I want to say I never talk about something unless I know what I'm talking about. You know, I was in the roofing business, and I wasn't your average roofing company. I started when I was 20. And them roofers, they would shoot the bull so much. I would listen to that for a while, and I would say, well, y'all just shut up. Before I get back to the other question, I got another man asked me a question. He's got one TV station 30 miles from his antenna. And this is, and, well, let me show you before I tell you that. And his other, the station he wants to pick up is 100 miles away. He's been watching too many antenna videos. He wants me to tell him how he can pick up this station right here a hundred miles away he's happy he can get this but he wants to be able to pick up this okay he can't put a booster on there because he's 30 miles away and probably chances are this station is probably more than a hundred thousand kilowatts so that'll, that'll kill it the only thing he can do is make that double antenna that I got that bad boy and he would be able to pick up this channel barefooted that means without a booster now you know that the conditions change all the time and a hundred miles away for just a antenna alone uh, is a long ways but he would be able to watch this uh, 100 mile away channel he would bear to watch it every night unless it had 30,000 kilowatts now if 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 this channel right here's got a million kilowatts this this station 
He's got it made. He probably can watch it all the time with that double antenna. And see, this right here is kind of like a car. You can't have a car that's a hot rod and it get 50 miles to the gallon. There ain't no such a thing. If, if this station right here, if it wasn't there, I could tell him how to bust his 100 miles wide open. But this right here is messing him up. Man, let me tell you this right here. And this is something I kind of ain't never understood about people. They don't want to spend no money. Hell, man, let's just say you spent $500. And you bought the finest, and you had the finest, and you had the finest man it was there ever was. Put that antenna up. Man, look what you'd have for the rest of your life. I, I've been over there. People had the coax taped up where they cut it with a lawnmower. I've seen, I've seen, there's one on the way to town. He's got his antenna on a PVC pipe and it's being over like a pretzel. And I bet you he watches that TV every night. I, that's something I don't understand. I would spend whatever it took. That I might not on something else. But on the TV, I wouldn't cut no corners. I'd be talking about hell yeah. I'd be saying, man, if if I can get a half a dB more, and, and it cost me $50, I'll take that dB. Let's just say you lived in Lawrence County. I go put an antenna up. It cost you $320. I go, I make the antenna. I bring it, I put it up, I put it on my laptop, check it out, make sure it's working good. If it ain't working good, you don't have to pay me. $320. And man, you would think that $320 is $10,000. And I, that's just something I don't understand. I just don't understand free TV for $320. And if they put one up themselves, let's say they spend $150 and they can pick up three channels. I, I just don't get it, boy. I just don't get it. If, if I come and put an antenna up and you spend $320, look at what you got. I figured it up one time. I, I'm the, the, the antennas I put up like right here where I live at in Dublin, I'm saving them like $260,000 a year. That's what we're talking about. And somebody talking about $320, that's a lot of money. Bush. People, sometimes people call me up and like the more they talk, I'm, I'm saying, if it don't work, you ain't got, you. it won't cost you nothing. And, and they sort of keep on until they done talked me out of going. And, I, and, and I'm sitting there on the phone shaking my head saying yes, yes, yes. And as soon as I hang up that phone, I forget their number. And it, 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 ain't, I'm, it ain't I'm ill about the people because I, I, I just kind of do it for fun anyway. But it's like Columbo. Y'all know who Columbo is. He asked this rich man, where could he get a pair of shoes like his for about $10? The man said, you can't, you can't get a pair like this for $10. All right, I'm about through looking over my notes, y'all. And, uh, don't, and let me tell you this. I'm, I'm going to answer this question, this guy's question about what he needs to do. But I really ain't ill. I really ain't ill about how cheap people are. It's kind of unbelievable, but like I say, I, I'm kind of happy like just right here, you know, inventing. And by the way, don't mind inventing, there's some stuff that I can't tell that ain't in no book, stuff I figured out. And you know, I got one antenna, I'm getting a patent on it. Okay, let me go ahead and answer this man's question. 
You wife be talking about, what you doing in there? <laughs> the man that says he can get this station 100% and he can get this from zero to 25%, I think is what he said. Now, let me say now, I ain't seen this man's antenna. There ain't no telling what it looks like. It's like be one that looks just as good as what I made. Or you like to go over there and get out of the car and won't even recognize what the hell it is. Because I've seen that too. But what this man needs to do is put a reflector on his antenna. And turn the reflector to the 100%. Turn the reflector to the 100%. Put a booster on this side where he's getting the zero to 25%. Remember, y'all.